Ladies and gentlemen, today we will pray the 3 a.m. prayer. And remember, this prayer is very powerful, so watch till the end. Dear Heavenly Father, as we gather in the stillness of the night, we seek your presence at this sacred hour. Your word in Psalm 63, one reminds us, O oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. In the quietude of 3 a.m., we turn to Psalm 119, 62, declaring, At midnight I rise to praise you because of your righteous rules. May our prayers ascend like incense, pleasing to your ears. Psalm 143, 8 guides us to, let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love as we lay our burdens before you, knowing that you sustain us. Grant us strength, O Lord, and illuminate our path with the light of your word. In the significance of 3 a.m. prayer, we recognize the symbolism of seeking you in the watches of the night. In Matthew 25, 6, Jesus encourages us to stay vigilant, saying, at midnight the cry rang out, Here's the bridegroom, come out to meet him. May our hearts be ready, anticipating your return. As we lift our voices in unity at 3 a.m., we acknowledge the importance of this sacred time, a moment when distractions fade and our spirits align with your divine rhythm. In this holy hour, we find solace, renewal, and a deepening of our relationship with you. Amen. In our communion with you at 3 a.m., we stand on the promise of Psalm 121, 4, declaring, Indeed, he who watches over Israel never slumbers nor sleeps. Thank you, Lord, for being our ever-present guardian, even in the darkest hours. Psalm 34, 17 reassures us that the righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. As we utter our supplications, we trust in your faithfulness to answer and deliver according to your perfect will. In the quietude of the night, we echo the sentiments of Psalm 46. 10. Be still and know that I am God. Help us to silence the clamor of the world, allowing your peace to reign in our hearts. Lord, in our 3 a.m. prayers, we find strength to face the challenges of the day ahead. Psalm 5, 3 inspires us with the words, In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. We wait with hope knowing that your mercies are new every morning. As we conclude our 3 a.m. prayer, we cling to the assurance of Psalm 1611. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. May the joy of your presence sustain us throughout this day, and may our lives be a testimony to your love and grace. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we conclude our 3 a.m. prayer, we reflect on the profound significance of this sacred time. In the Gospel of Mark 1.35, we are reminded that even Jesus sought solitude in the early hours, saying, Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. In the quiet moments of 3 a.m., we emulate Christ's example, finding solace and communion with you. Psalm 119, 105 declares, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. May your word illuminate our journey and guide our steps throughout the day. Lord, we recognize that 3 a.m. prayer is not just a tradition, but a spiritual discipline that draws us closer to you. Psalm 119, 147 encourages us with these words, I rise before dawn and cry for help. 
I have put my hope in your word. Our hope is anchored in your word and our dependence on you is unwavering. As we go forth from this sacred moment, may the blessings of Psalm 90, 17 be upon us. May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. May our actions and endeavors be guided by your wisdom and grace. We offer this prayer in the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we conclude our 3 a.m. prayer and recite the words that Jesus taught us, we acknowledge the depth of meaning in each phrase. In seeking your kingdom and your will, may our lives be a reflection of your divine purpose on earth. In asking for daily bread, we recognize our dependence on you for sustenance, not just in physical needs, but also in the nourishment of our souls. As we seek forgiveness and extend it to others, May the transformative power of your grace be evident in our relationships. Lead us away from temptation, O Lord, and protect us from the snares of the evil one. In the closing affirmation, we declare the eternal truth of your kingdom, power, and glory. May our lives be a testimony to the greatness of your name. We offer this prayer with gratitude and anticipation trusting in your unwavering love and guidance. In the name of Jesus, our Savior, we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we conclude our 3 a.m. prayer and reflect on the profound words of the Lord's Prayer, we are reminded of the transformative power of surrendering our lives to you. In the stillness of this sacred hour, we draw inspiration from Psalm 46. One. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Lord, be our refuge today, guiding us with your strength through the challenges we may face. As we pray for your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven, we surrender our plans and desires, trusting that your divine purpose far exceeds our understanding. In Proverbs 3, 5, 6, we find wisdom. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Grant us, O Lord, the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow it. May our lives be a testimony to your goodness and grace. In moments of temptation, help us stand firm knowing that your deliverance is sure, as stated in 1 Corinthians 10.13. As we conclude this prayer, we affirm with gratitude and praise that yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. In Jesus' name, we humbly submit these petitions, trusting in your mercy and love. Amen. Heavenly Father, as our 3 a.m. prayer draws to a close, we embrace the assurance of Psalm 121, 7, 8. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. We rest in the security of your unwavering protection. In the challenges of this day, May the words of Psalm 1914 be our meditation. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. May our thoughts, words, and actions align with your righteousness. Lord, 
We carry the lessons of this 3 a.m. prayer into the day ahead, guided by the wisdom of Psalm 37, 23, 24. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. May our delight in you direct our steps, knowing that your hand upholds us. As we step into the world, may the love of God, as described in 1 Corinthians 13, 4, 7, be evident in our interactions. Love is patient. Love is kind. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. May we be vessels of your love, reflecting your character in every encounter. We offer this prayer in gratitude and with anticipation of your presence throughout this day. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen. Heavenly Father, as we conclude our 3 a.m. prayer and prepare to face the challenges of the day, we hold fast to the promise of Isaiah 41, 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Lord, grant us courage to navigate the uncertainties, knowing that your presence is our constant source of strength. In moments of doubt, may Psalm 46, one echo in our hearts, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. As we engage with others, may Colossians 4, 6 guide our words. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. May our interactions reflect the grace and wisdom found in your word. Lord, we acknowledge our dependence on you for wisdom and discernment. Proverbs 2, 6 reminds us, For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Grant us discernment to make wise decisions that align with your will. As we step into this new day, may Psalm 143, 10 be the cry of our hearts. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. Guide our steps, Lord, and may we walk in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. In Jesus' name, we entrust this day into your hands. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we embark on the journey of this day, we carry the truths of our 3 a.m. prayer with us. Psalm 25, 4 becomes our plea. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead us in paths of righteousness, revealing the way we should go. In the busyness of life, help us remember the words of Matthew 6:33. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. May our priorities align with your kingdom, and may your righteousness be our guiding light. Lord, as we encounter challenges, may Romans 8.28 resonate in our hearts, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Strengthen our faith to trust that even in adversity, your purpose is at work. Grant us a heart of gratitude, Father, as we recall the words of 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. May our hearts overflow with gratitude, recognizing your hand in every circumstance. As we navigate the day, we rest in the assurance of Psalm 121, 5, 6. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. Your constant watch over us brings comfort and peace. We offer this day to you, 
trusting in your guidance and provision. In Jesus' name, we pray, amen. Heavenly Father, as we continue our journey through this day, we carry the promises of your word in our hearts. Psalm 1914 becomes our daily aspiration. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Let our thoughts and words align with your truth. In moments of weariness, we find strength in Isaiah 40, 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. May our hope in you be a source of unwavering strength. As we interact with others, let Ephesians 4.29 guide our speech. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. May our words be a source of encouragement and edification. Lord, grant us discernment to recognize opportunities for kindness, as instructed in Galatians 6.10. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. May our actions reflect your love to those around us. In moments of decision-making, may Proverbs 3, 5, 6 be our guide. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. We trust in your guidance. As we approach the evening, may Psalm 121, 8 bring us comfort. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. In your watchful care, we find peace. In Jesus' name, we continue this day, anchored in your promises. Amen. Heavenly Father, as the day draws to a close, we reflect on the events that unfolded and seek your guidance in our evening prayer. Psalm 139. 23, 24 becomes our sincere plea. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Examine our hearts, O Lord, and guide us in your eternal ways. As we rest in the quiet of the night, we find solace in Psalm 4, 8. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Grant us peaceful and restful sleep, knowing that you are our ultimate security. We lift up to you, Lord, those who are in need, echoing the words of Psalm 34, 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Bring comfort and healing to those facing difficulties, and may your presence be felt in their lives. In gratitude, we recall Psalm 103, 2, 5. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Thank you for your abundant grace and mercy. As we surrender the day into your hands, we remember Psalm 121, 7, 8. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. May your watchful care continue through the night and into the dawn of a new day. In the name of Jesus, we offer this evening prayer. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we conclude this day in prayer, we are reminded of the reassurance found in Psalm 91. 1. 2. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, 
He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. May our trust in you be unwavering, finding refuge in your presence. As we lay down our concerns before you, we are comforted by the words of Philippians 4, 6, 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Grant us your peace that surpasses all understanding. Lord, we lift up to you our loved ones near and far, praying the words of Psalm 121. Eight over them. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. May your watchful care extend to each person we hold dear. As we prepare to rest, may Psalm 4, 4, 5 guide our reflections. Tremble and do not sin. When you are on your beds, search your hearts and be silent. Offer the sacrifices of the righteous and trust in the Lord. In the stillness of the night, may our hearts be attuned to your presence. Lord, we entrust our lives and the lives of those we love into your capable hands. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we surrender the events of this day to your sovereign will, we find assurance in Psalm 23, 1, 3. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. Shepherd us, Lord, and grant us the rest and refreshment that comes from dwelling in your presence. In moments of reflection, we echo the words of Psalm 1914. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. May our thoughts and words be a pleasing offering before you. We acknowledge your faithfulness, Lord, as stated in Lamentations 3.22, 23. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. With gratitude, we anticipate the dawn of a new day filled with your mercies. As we rest, we trust in your protection, as affirmed in Psalm 121, 5, 6. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. May your watchful care be our constant companion through the night. In the quietness of this hour, we offer our prayers and praise, seeking your peace that transcends all understanding. May your presence envelop us as we sleep, and may we awake with hearts filled with gratitude and devotion. Heavenly Father, as we enter the realm of dreams and surrender to the stillness of the night, we reflect on the wisdom of Proverbs 3.24, when you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Grant us sweet and undisturbed rest, free from anxiety or fear. In the quiet of the night, we remember Psalm 63, 6. On my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. May our thoughts be turned toward you, O Lord, as we find peace in the assurance of your presence. As we rest our bodies, we also rest our burdens before you, aligning our hearts with the invitation in Matthew 11:28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. May the burdens of the day find release in your comforting embrace. Lord, we pray for those who are restless or burdened tonight. May they experience the restorative power of Psalm 4, 8. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Be their refuge and fortress.
providing safety and tranquility. As we close our eyes in anticipation of a new day, we trust in your promise from Psalm 16, 9. Therefore my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices, my body also will rest secure. May our hearts be glad, our souls be refreshed, and our bodies rest securely in your love. In the quiet hours of the night, we commit our spirits to your care, knowing that you are our ever-present keeper. In Jesus' name, we rest secure in your grace. Amen. Heavenly Father, as the night unfolds its mysteries, we find solace in Psalm 121. 1. 2. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. In this hour, we lift our gaze to you, our source of strength and help. As we embark on the journey of dreams, we hold on to the truth of Psalm 4. 8. In peace, I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. May the serenity of your presence surround us, guarding our hearts and minds. Lord, we entrust our loved ones into your care, echoing the sentiment of Psalm 121, 8. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. May your watchful eyes bring comfort to those we cherish. In the silence of the night, we reflect on the blessings of this day, grateful for Psalm 103, 2, 5. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. We praise you for your abundant grace. As the night progresses, May Psalm 139, 23, 24 be our nightly prayer. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Guide us on the path of righteousness. In the quietude of the night, we rest in your unfailing love confident that your mercies are new every morning. In Jesus' name, we surrender to the peace that surpasses all understanding. Amen. Please leave your prayer request in comments so we can pray for him. And don't forget to subscribe this channel and share video to your